Here we'll discuss about the binary arithmetic. Here there are binary addition, binary subtraction, binary multiplication and a binary division. So first we'll see the binary addition. If there are two bits A and B, there will be four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So when we add these two bits, we'll get the following answer. So when we add 0 plus 0, its answer is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and in binary addition 1 plus 1, there will be sum as well as carry. So sum is 0 and carry will be 1. So when we perform 1 plus 1, sum is means answer is 0 and there is a carry 1. In logic addition, 1 plus 1 will be 1. In binary addition, 1 plus 1 is 0 and carry is 1. So the first three operation produces just a sum, but the last operation produces sum as well as a carry. So when you add two bits, for example here A and B, when you perform A and B, means addition of two bits, it is called as a half adder. When we add three bits, that addition is called as a full adder. We will see the example, perform addition of the following numbers. So when you perform the addition of these two binary numbers, we will get the following answer. So here 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 result is 0 and there is a carry 1 and carry 1 will be added with these two bits. So 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 and again carry 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 is 1. No carry. 1 plus 1, 0 and carry will be 1 and when you add 3 ones, sum is 1 and carry will be 1. Answer is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is binary addition. And if the binary numbers means uh, perform addition of 28 and 15, if decimal is given, how to perform the binary addition? So first we have to convert the given decimal into binary by using the successive division. So 28 will be divided by 2 because we have to find the binary answer. So divide, divided by radix, so 2. So we will get the binary answer like this. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And here when you convert uh, 15 to binary, we will get 1, 1, 1, 1. So binary answer of 28 is having 5 bits and 15 is having 4 bits. So before adding these two numbers, these two binary numbers, make sure the number of bits are same. Here the number of bit is 5 and here just a 4 number. So we have to add a 0 in the friend. So now the uh, addition of 11100 and 01111. Here I added 0 to make the number of bits as same. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 here and adding 3 1s will get sum as 1 as well as carry as 1 here. So 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 carry and carry will be 1 here. And next binary subtraction. So generally in subtraction here by using the complement method, it is not a normal subtraction, it is by using the complement method. So the methods are R's and R minus 1's complement. R is nothing but the radix, in a sense base. So if the if, if it is a binary subtraction, binary's radix is true. So the methods, the complement method comes as 2's and 2 minus 1 means 1's complement. So the method to perform binary subtractions are 2's and 1's complement. And uh, for octal subtraction, radix value is 8. So when you substitute here, we'll get 8s and 7s complement. And in decimal subtraction, the complement methods will be 10s and 9s. And in hexadecimal, R is 16. Therefore, the complement methods will be 16s and 15s. So now we are going to discuss about binary subtraction. So before moving to the binary subtraction, we will we'll know, we have to know about the 1's complement and a 2's complement. How to take, how to perform 1's and 2's complement. 1's complement in a sense, flipping the bits. If there is a 1, then we have to flip it to 0 and 0 means 1. That is a method to write 1's complement. For example, find the 1's complement of 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So how to find the 1's complement here? So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is a given binary. 
So one's complement will be writing 0 for 1 and 1 for 0. Means 1 will be flipped to 0 and 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So this is a one's complement of the given number. So one's complement is nothing but flipping the bits. 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Next, how to find the two's complement? Two's complement is first finding one's complement and adding one only to the last bit, only to the LSB. For example, find two's complement of 101101. 101101. One, one, one. So, first we have to take 1's complement of this number. So, 1 is flipped to 0, 0 will be 1, and 1 is 0, 1 is 0, 0 is 1, and 1 is 0. And adding 1 only for the last bit, not for all the bits, only for the last bit. So, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1, and 0, 0, 1, 0. So, this is the answer for the 2's complement of this number, 101101. And next we'll see about the binary subtractions. So here we just discussed how to take 1's and 2's complement of the number, of any number. So now we have to perform binary subtraction between two numbers, means A minus B. A minus B is a format. And here B is a negative number. A minus B, B is a negative number. We have to take complement for the negative number. 1's complement are a 2's complement. So, there are some certain algorithm to perform this. So, binary subtraction using 1's complement. So, the algorithms are, if A minus B is the format, first we have to take 1's complement of the negative number, which is B. So, take 1's complement of the negative number, which is B. And next, result is equal to adding A and 1's complement of B. Result is nothing but adding A and 1's complement of B. So, when we add, there is a two cases. One is carry can be generated and carry may not be generated. So, there are two cases here. If carry is generated, what to be done? And carry is not generated, what to be done? So, if carry is generated when performing A plus 1's complement of B, then we have to decide that result is positive and add carry to the result to get the final result, last result. So, if carry is generated, then result is positive and adding carry to the result to get the final result means adding carry only to the last bit. If carry is not generated, then the result is negative. At last, if carry is not generated, not left over, then the result is negative and we have to write the result in one's complement form. So, this is a algorithm. So, first we are taking a negative uh, complement for the negative number and adding A with 1's complement of B. When adding A and 1's, we get carry and we may not get. So, if carry is generated, then result will be positive and adding carry to the result. If carry is not generated, then the result is negative and writing the result in 1's complement form. So, we have to follow these steps now. So, example, Perform 28 and 15, 28 minus 15. So, A is 28 here and B is 15. So, 15 is a negative number now. So, we have to take 1's complement of the 15 using 1's complement form. So, perform binary subtraction using 1's complement form. Since the given is decimal, we have to convert it into binary. So, 28 and 15, we already have the answer for that. So, 28 is 1100. And 15 is 1111. Even here, before performing subtraction, make sure the number of bits are same. So, here it is 5. We have to make this also as a 5 bits. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, now first step. What is the first step? Take 1's complement of B. So, B is 15. Negative number is 15. So, take 1's complement of B. Binary B is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And 1's complement, flipping the bits. So, one, 0 is 1 and 1 is 0, 1 is 0, 1 is 0 and again 1 is 0. So, this is 1's complement of B. Second step is adding A and 1's complement of B. What is A? 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And 1's complement of B is this, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, adding A and 1's complement of B, 
which is this. So 0 plus 0 was 0, 0 plus 0 was 0, 1 plus 0 was 1, 1 plus 0 was 1. And here 1 plus 1 is 0 and carry is 1. So carry is generated here. So carry we are talking about this carry, the last one which is left here. No, not the carry which generates in between, the last carry. So this one is a carry which is generated. So if carry is generated, then the result is positive. And we have to add carry to the result to get the final result. So here carry is generated. So what is our carry? With the carry, the result is 101100. So I have written here 101100. So final result is adding this carry to the LSP, only to the LSP. So 1 will be taken down. So 0 plus 1 is 1, 0, 1, 1 and 0. So 28 minus 15 is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So this is the final answer. So we can verify our answer by converting this binary, either binary to decimal or decimal to binary. So we know the answer for the decimal subtraction, which is 28 minus 15 is 13. So it is the easiest method to check the answer. So 28 minus 15 is 13. So converting 13 to binary. So we'll get 1101. So we got the same 1101. So answer is correct. So here we discussed about 28 minus 15 means for the first case where carry is generated. And one more question which is 15 minus 28. So what is the expected answer? Expected answer is minus 13. 15 minus 28 will be minus 30. Means the case will be like carry is not generated. So using one's complement. So A is 15 and B is 28. So now negative number is 28. So we know the answer for 15 and 28 binary answer. So 15 is adding 0, 1111 and 28 is 11100. First step, take one's complement of B. Now B is 28, which is 11100. So I have written 11100. So one's complement of B is flipping this 1 to 0. 0, 0, 0 and this 0 to 1. 1 and 1. Now adding A and one's complement of B. A is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is 15 ka binary. And B, one's complement of B is 0, 0, 0. 1, 1. So adding these two binary number, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1. Adding three ones will get answer as 1, carry as 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is 1. So carry is not generated here. Carry is not generated. So if carry is not generated, then the result is negative. Take one's complement of the result. So what is our result actually? 1, double 0, 1, 0. So the one's complement of result is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So final answer, we have to write it in minus. So minus 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. Minus, you have to write it outside the bracket. So when verifying the answer, 15 minus 28, which is minus 13. So 13, when you convert to binary, it is 1, 1, 0, 1. And writing the answer in negative. So this is the answer for both the cases. One is 28 minus 15, answer is 13. And this is 15 minus 28, answer is minus 13. So carry is generated, carry is not generated. So now binary subtraction using two's complement. So A minus B means subtracting two numbers A and B by using the following steps. So B is a negative number. Since we are discussing 2's complement, here we have to take 2's complement for the negative number which is B. So first step is taking 2's complement of B and second step, result is equal to A plus 2's complement of B. When adding A and 2's complement of B, if carry is generated, then the result is positive and you have to ignore the carry. If carry is not generated, then the result is negative and we have to write the result in 2's complement form. So now example we'll see. Perform 28 base 10 minus 15 base 10 using 2's complement form. So now A is 28 and B is 15. So B is a negative number means we have to take 2's complement for the negative number which is 15. So now before performing the subtraction we have to check the number of bits. It should be same. Here it is not equal. 28 is having 5 bit and 15 is having 4 bit. 
So adding zero in the front end. So now the number of bits is same. So first step, applying take two's complement of B. B is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So two's complement of B is first taking one's complement by flipping 0 as 1 and 1 as 0. So 1, 0, 0, 0. And adding 1 to the last bit, which is 0 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1. So the first step is done. And second step is adding A and 2's complement of B, which gives us a result. So A, which is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And 2's complement of B is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So adding these two which gives us 0 plus 1 is 1 and 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1. So carry is generated here. So if carry is generated, we have to ignore the carry. In 1's complement, we used to add it, but here in 2's complement, we have to ignore the carry. So answer will be only 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, carry is generated, therefore result is positive and ignoring this carry. So, result is equal to, after ignoring, we, got, we are getting 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So, 28 minus 15, which is 13. When we find the binary, we used to get at 1, 1, 0, 1. So, which is answer, final answer. Next, perform 15 base 10 minus 28 base 10 using 2's complement form. Here, A is 15, B is 28. So, A 15 base 10, B 28 base 10 and the binary for 15 is 1, 1, 1, 1 and for 28 it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. The number of bits are not same actually. So, adding 0 here. So, we are getting binary for 15 and 28. Now, applying algorithm, first step is taking 2's complement of B which is a negative number 28 here. So, take 2's complement of B, B is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 and first taking 1's. So, 1 will be 0, 0 will be 1. So, 0, 0, 1, 1. And adding 1 for the last bit. So, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 and 0. So, this is a 2's complement of B. Second step is adding A and 2's complement of B. A is 15. 15 binary is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And 2's complement of B which is 0, 0, 1, double 0. So, 0, 0, 1, double 0. Adding these two numbers, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0 is 1. So, that carry is not generated. If carry is not generated, then the result is negative and we have to take 2's complement of the result. So, what is the result? Result is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, final result is after taking 2's complement. So, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is 1's complement of this result. And adding 1, we are getting 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And the answer is in negative. Result is in negative. So, minus of 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. So, uh, decimal answer is 13. So, when we find the binary for 13, we are getting 1, 1, 0, 1. So, the answer is correct, verified. So, final answer is in minus. Don't forget to put minus for the answers.